I'm Laurie Lane Zucker, founder and president of Impact Entrepreneur, and uh, I'm here at Mission Investors Exchange 2024 National Conference, sitting with Deb Parsons uh, of Impact Assets. Hi, Deb. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, too. Deb, for those in our audience who are not familiar with Impact Assets, please describe what you do. Yeah, well, well we do a lot, but uh, Impact Assets is essentially a trailblazer in the impact investing space. We've been around since 2010, uh, first as a donor advised fund providing traditional donor advised fund services with impact investments. And now we're an, a full impact investing firm supporting our clients on their uh, impact journey, if you will. We really believe that impact investing can help our planet's future and support all of humanity. So we work with our clients to get them on that path. Um, so, you know, here at Mission Investors Exchange, we're, we're talking a lot about uh, philanthropic impact investing, mission investing more broadly and all the different instruments. What place does a donor advised fund have in that continuum of uh, impact investing? I think it has a really big role to play. Uh, most people think, you know, when you have a donor advised fund, you might you know, do a lot of grant making, but let's say you have $100, you might give away 10 cents a year. What happens to that other uh, 10 cents? You give away $10 a year. And what happens to that other $90? Where does it sit? Well, that's a lot of money that's just sitting around. And with our organization, we believe every single one of those dollars needs to be invested. And so we try to both lead the way with our own clients, but also support other DAF providers, other community foundations, on how they can have products for their clients to allocate to while they're waiting to make great grants. So it's a, it's a uh, in collaboration with their grant making, and ideally, it's supporting a larger, a larger impact thesis. For the many entrepreneurs in our audience, um, can you give them insights into how they can best uh, mine? resources in DAFs yeah. uh, for helping to grow their companies? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. Uh, so one of the unique things that we can do at Impact Assets is our clients can bring a deal to us that they've done their due diligence on, and we can facilitate that transaction. So you can think about it as angel investing with your philanthropic checkbook. And as an entrepreneur seeking funding, I would offer that as you're seeking funding from uh, an investor and they might say, no, this doesn't fit my thesis for my traditional checkbook, you can always pivot the conversation and say, do you have a foundation or a DAF? And more than likely, that person might not even know that they have that available to them to do this great work and it just expands what's available. So it, it really adds to the, to the conversation. However, what donor advised funds can't do is be that fundraiser for you. So we can help facilitate the transaction and make aware that this service exists, but we can't do the, the heavy lifting, unfortunately. So an entrepreneur finds uh, a donor who is keen to provide funding to, through a DAF to them. What kind of capital uh, is a DAF able to give to an entrepreneur in their company? Everything. We do everything. Um, most popular right now, which is most popular in, in um, what you might find in traditional angel investing is safes, but we do equity, debt, lines of credit, guarantee model. We have seen it all and through this service, I mean, we're doing four or five deals a week. Uh, so it's a pretty robust program with a, a large team that has seen across sectors and across uh, different investment vehicles. Uh, ideally, we're supporting our client and the investee along the way to make sure they're setting them up for success. Mm -hmm. uh, did, I don't know if you mentioned grants. Is grants uh, oh. one of those instruments? Well, of, of course, course that's, yeah. That's, not, I mean, that's, yeah. That's, very, that's one of the favorites for an entrepreneur, right? Is, is uh, it? Okay. All right. Uh, I would say yes, grants is in there. Uh, but to tell you the truth, a lot of times having somebody uh, on the cap table where others are saying, oh, this person has already put their their uh, investment dollars in actually attracts other investment dollars. Certainly grant dollars are totally uh, welcome and we, we do support that as well. Mm -hmm. But I would say most of the folks that we work with are trying to activate all those dollars on the sidelines and put them directly into the companies as equity or debt 
and uh, and grants, yes, grants too. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you work both with individual philanthropists as well as foundations, right? We do. We work with uh, individuals and then uh, their wealth advisors, their family offices. We work with corporate foundations. We work with MBA teams. In fact, we're the like, for example, at Stanford or Yale or Kellogg, they have MBA teams that do direct investing through a DAF. And, uh, and so we're able to create these collaborative multi-donor pools that allow for a thesis to go through. So we, we stretch this vehicle of a DAF and make it really interesting and powerful. And, uh, and we were set up to do that because that was how we were, you know, we were formed by impact investors, we're for impact investors, and our services are designed to facilitate that capital. Mm -hmm. um, lastly, I'm just wondering if you could share your thoughts on the state of mission, philanthropic mission investing, as you're experiencing it here at Mission Investors Exchange, and where do you see it going, or where, where should it go in the years to come? I mean, I, I actually feel a lot of hope. I have been in the impact investing space for close to 20 years. And uh, seeing the amount of fund managers that are now available for people to participate in. So you have people who might have been nervous because they have a variety of risk tolerance. Well, now there's a lot of essentially product for them to jump into. And then that just leads them more to seeing other opportunities that have higher risk. So there's a lot across the spectrum for people to get involved. And, uh, and so I'm, I feel really hopeful. I think that philanthropic capital specifically can play a really catalytic role in, in moving different ideas forward. So if you have a big idea of why um, democ funding democracy works, well, you can create a fund like our, our partner New Media Ventures has done over the years to support that cause. And it pushes others into that impact area. So it's a, it's a really powerful uh, way to, to get things moving. Mm -hmm. Deb, thanks so much for sitting down with me. Yeah, really you bet. It. Great to see you. Again. Great to see you.